Hello friends, welcome to our channel Rising Star. In the previous video, we saw that how to solve examples which were below the base. But in this video, we will see how to solve the examples which are above the base. So let's begin. I'll draw here a line. Now, right here is product. Now write here sum. Now see this is the first step. Now let me begin with the second step. So see just write here base. Then deviation. Then sum, and at last product. So first of all, let's find the base. One hundred and five and one hundred and twelve are near to hundred. So hundred will become the base. Remember, hundred is the base. Now let us find deviation. See, we have to subtract. Base from the numbers. Therefore, one hundred and five minus hundred. Answer will be five. And here, one hundred and twelve minus hundred. Answer will be twelve. So write here five and write here twelve. Now next process. Now next is to find the sum. So you can add these. Or these answer will be same. So let's add one hundred and five plus twelve. Answer will be one hundred and seventeen. And here also one hundred and twelve plus five. Answer will be one hundred and seventeen. So just write one hundred and seventeen here. Now here should be product. So we have to. Multiply them. See, five into twelve is equal to sixty. So just write here sixty. And remember, the number of the digits on the product side should be equal to the number of zeros in the base. Here are two zeros. So here should be two digits. It's correct. Therefore, one hundred and five into one hundred and twelve will be. Eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty. So let's begin with the next example. Let's begin with the next example. Here we have taken one thousand and thirteen into one thousand and two. So just follow the five steps. First of all, draw here a line. Now write here sum. Here product. And now let's find the base. See, one thousand and thirteen and one thousand and two are near to thousand. So thousand will become the base. Now let's find the deviation. You have to subtract the base from the number. Therefore, one thousand and thirteen minus thousand. Answer will be thirteen. And one thousand and two minus thousand. Answer will be. Two. Now let's so write here deviation here thirty and here two. Now find the sum. See you can add these or these. Answer will be same. See one thousand and thirteen plus two. Answer will be one thousand and fifteen or one thousand and two plus one thousand and no plus sorry plus Thirteen. Answer will be one thousand and fifteen. So just write one thousand and fifteen here. Now let's find the product. You have to multiply them. Thirteen into two. Answer will be twenty six. So just write twenty six here. But remember the number of the digits on the product side and the number of zeros in the base should be equal. Here are two digits. And here are three zeros in the base. Therefore, here should be three digits. So just add zero before the number. 
therefore 1013 into 1002 answer will be 10 lakh 15000 and 26 let's begin with the next example Let's begin with the next example. See 116 into 109. So first of all draw here one line. Here will be the sum. Here will be the product. Now let's find the base. 116 and 109 are near to 100. So 100 will become the base. Now deviation. So just subtract base from these numbers. 116 minus 100. Answer will become 60. And 109 minus 100. Answer will become 9. Now let us find the. So first of all write deviation. Here. So here 16 and here 9. Now let us find the sum. You can add this or this. Answer will be same. 116 plus 9. See, 116 plus 9 answer will be 125 or 109 plus 16 answer will be 125. So, just write 125 here. Wait a minute. So, just write 125 here. And now here let's uh, write the product. So, you have to multiply them. 16 into 9 answer will be 144 so write here 144 but remember the number of zeros in the base and the number of digits on the product side should be equal see here are two digits and here are here are two zeros and here are three digits so this is not equal so send here this one can so 125 plus 1 Answer will be 126 and write here 44. So 116 into 109 will be 12,644. See, I have prepared some examples for you. Try to solve these examples with this method and answer me in comment section. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe it. Thank you.